Hang on, hello, let's play fans. It's your pal Berg787 back with a brand new episode of Darkest Dungeon. So, uh, on yesterday's episode, we beat the 16 pounder brigand, whatever it is, brigand 16 pounder. There we go, I can never say that correctly. Um, and now we don't actually have a boss to go for. The, we, we have the flesh beast monster thing, but we don't actually have it available yet. We need to get that up to um, level 7, so we're going to have to be spending a bit of time in the Warrens. But now, we haven't done a long dungeon in a while, so I think that's what we're going to do. And the team that we are going to take for this long dungeon is going to be Corsumet Bleh. Vavasaur. And we're going to take Carted as well. All people who are very near to going up a level. Should be pretty cool. So we could get some level more some, some more level 5s out there. We could also, well, we're definitely going to get another level 4 out of Carted. And this is how we put the team together. So the man at arms has got his uh, beat weapons, you know, the uh, the legendary bracer and the focus ring. I've discussed those before. Um, Corsume is using the usual stuff. Uh, oh no, actually no, he's, he's using slightly different. He's getting a bit more damage for lack of for loss of dodge. And I've given him the bounty hunter helmet, which gives him more damage to his melee skills. So he should be doing quite a bit of damage. I'd like to think from his melee attacks anyway, and especially when Vavasaur over here uh, puts a marker down on someone, he should be doing all kinds of damage. Uh, as for Vavasaur himself, he's taking what I've been giving him or any kind of occultist the last couple of goes anyway. So he's getting the Demon, the Cauldron, and the Speedstone. So a bit more speed. It, he loses the one plus critical that he gets from here. Less virtue chance, but who cares? But it also increases his debuff skill chance, which he does have with uh, the Weakening Curse. And finally, Cartet. Cartet, we're giving her the uh, Quickening Satchel. So she's going to be moving even quick. Speed 9. That's pretty quick, to be fair. Uh, she's less. She's a bit more move resistant, a bit less accuracy, but we combat that by giving her the focus ring, so more accuracy there, so a net gain of 8 accuracy, more critical, less dodge, and a bit less move resistant, so it's, she loses minus 10 move resist, basically, overall, and uh, a little bit of dodge as well, so I can live with that. Let's head out. So it is a large dungeon, so we will make sure we take as much grub as we can. Uh, we'll definitely take four shovels. Uh, where are we going again? The Warrens. Well, again, I mean, I've been saying this for at least sort of 10, 15 episodes. I've got so much cash. So I don't really care about picking up stuff along the way. So we might as well take or we'll make most use of all the stuff that we can get. Because who cares about the trinkets and stuff like that? I mean, if something really valuable comes along, obviously I can make room and these things will disperse as we go through the dungeon. But, you know, for the time being, we'll take that. Let's head out. Come on, load. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Hmm. Alright, well, we've got to do 100% of room battles. It'd be nice if we can get some scouts here, especially where we might not need to backtrack or we might have to backtrack if we miss out or if we don't see what's ahead of us. So let's head this way first. Oh, alright, straight away a fight. And straight away a surprise, that's not good. And this is quite a dangerous encounter, it must be said, especially for an early doors encounter. Uh, I'm half tempted to bring one of these chumps forward because they're pre well, pretty useless. I mean, they're, they're much less dangerous when they are nearer the front. So let's try it out. Bastard resisted, so that's not good. You. Um, do we want to move you back? Yeah, and considering you can't re well, I mean, you can if you hit a crit. Should we move you back? No, not yet. We won't move you back just yet. We'll start moving you back then. Yeah, all right, I've got a plan for this. So we'll do that, do a bit more damage to them. We might actually be able to get a kill on the Fusilier. Yeah, we should, as long as we hit. This is not a guarantee, but we'll try. There we go. All right, at least we got one out of the way. We didn't actually move him back, but... You need to start making your way forward. All right, here comes the blanket fire. Yeah, not bad. All right, this is this is what I'm most worried about. That wasn't too bad, and that was all right. Okay, maybe I've oversold these chumps. Maybe I was a bit too sort of like, oh, I'm worried about them, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Let's try again, bringing him to the front. Can we get him to the front? No, resisted again, eh? All right, he really doesn't want to move. In theory, we could kill him, but we would need a max or a crit, so I'm not going to risk that. 
Well, no, actually, you know what? Because she's going to be using her little move back move anyway, it's actually worthwhile me probably throwing a curse down on one of these pricks. Probably him. Yeah, we'll throw a curse down on him. And he, she will use her move back move to get him further forward. And then we'll work it out from there. All right, so... Yeah, let's curse him. There we go. Feel the wrath of my curse, you bastard. All right, now she's going to use her little move. Um, since you're cursed, we'll try and stun you. That worked a treat as well. All right, blanket fire. And it missed. Well, I mean, it, it does crits, fair enough. But usually it doesn't do too much damage. It's just more annoying because it does what it does. Right, now you. Retribution on... Well, since you've already attacked, you haven't attacked yet. We'll use Retribution on you. And hopefully, if you attack, you will attack the man at arms and he'll smack you back and that'll be that. Good, you missed. Cause you, well, I'd like to think it's because you're cursed. Uh, as for you, can she do shit from the back? She can't pickaxe from the face. She can flashing dagger and she can throw dagger, so that's fine. I would like to get him a bit further forward. So let's move him forward. All right, now you need to start me. Oh, do you? Because you could kill someone here again. Let's try that, actually. We'll keep you where you are. We'll do the kill. I mean, if you hit, you should kill. There we go, just about. The lowest he could have done was eight, which wouldn't have killed him. There we go. Now you can start throwing some daggers. You can't hit the one in the front, which is a bit of a shame, but I hope. One in four chance of a crit, though. Not this time. But all right. Uh, you could kill him. You could kill him. But let's try and let's do a bit of retribution on him again. Well, not on him again. We didn't do it to him last time, but we'll we'll do it to him because blanket fire. I mean, if as I said, if it does a crit, well, ah, well, there you go. He got hit back. So if you did a crit, then what can you do? He's going to get hit back. There we go. So that was quite worth it, and we barely got touched. I really thought that was going to be a more dangerous fight than it turned out to be. So I don't know. Maybe I oversold it, but they can be dangerous. They just didn't do a lot of damage, I suppose. All right, pack contains loot. Nice. Whatever. Let's move on. And hopefully we get a little scout out. Oh, invisible traps. Only four damage. So yeah, hopefully we get a bit of a scout out here. That would help us out so we know where we need to go. Yeah, we have. Please give me a scout for this room over here, if you can. Excellent. Okay, so we don't need to go to that room. So that's fine, because we have to do 100% of room battles. So that was quite nice that we did get that scout. That shit, I can't ever remember what we need to do for it. Uh, this, you probably will be the best to handle this. 70%? Maybe not. Well, between you and Korsume. Oh, shit, did I just move you around? I, I didn't really want to do that. Go on, Cartet. I trust you. Well done. Good moves. And on to the next room where we do have a fight. Who are we going to be ruckusing with? Oh, okay. A load of piggies. And piggy's going to go first. Is he? And he gets a crit. There we go. All right, well... Stress me out, you little asshole. See if I care. Let's just raise the light. Uh, right, how do we want to play this? Since you haven't attacked yet, Korsume, I think I will throw down the hex on on you, the Swine Reaver. You've got the most health. Korsume might be able to kill him in one hit here. We'll see with the Collect Bounty. He could actually kill him with one hit without a crit, but he would need to do almost max damage. But let's see. 28. That was a pretty good effort. You almost killed him. Almost. Uh, let's throw a quick retribution on him, which will kill him. Plus, if he gets attacked, obviously, he'll do a little retribution attack. So we'll do that. There we go. That's him gone. And hopefully, they'll uh, do some attacks, which will hit him. And he can, obviously, smite them back. There we go. Bam. Very nice, especially considering he missed. That fucked him up big time as well. <laughs> that was a really big hit. All right, flashing dagger should kill the swine march and obviously do a bit to the uh, swine spawn, old spitty cripple pig. There we go. Good times indeed. And old Captain Pidcook. Bye-bye, Captain Pidcook. That's what happens when you try and take on old Grizzly Adams over here. Vomit. Bam, all right. Man at arms, He's, he don't take shit for nothing from no one, man. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever, we'll take all that. You need to camp here, I think it is. What is this again? Sacrificial stone. Hold on one minute. What about if I use you? Deeply disturbed. Should have known better. I didn't quite see what happened. Was he? Did he just get stressed? I should have known better. Uh, all right. He looks like he's going to go berserk. So that's not good. Unless we get some um, reducing of stress. 
never know. We could get some reducing of stress. Or we could just get hit by traps. I did try and disarm it. She didn't... Oh, did she get bled? And she took a bit of a bleed. I'm just going to let her take the bleeds. If I had managed to stop it before the first one, I probably would have... If I would managed to not move, <laughs> which is my own fault, I could have used a bandage, but I'm not going to bother using a bandage when it's going to run out pretty quickly. There we go. All right, some spithers. Some spiddly widdlies. Let's hopefully kill them. You bastard. Left him with one bit of health. Uh, all right, well, let's just... Um, Let's do this to him, yeah? This should kill him. Well, actually, it's not a great chance to hit. 78 either way. All right, hopefully it hits. It missed. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, uh, pickaxe to the face. Could you kill that one? Well, you need maximum damage, so we'll go for this. There we go. A crit as well, so that helps. That hope. Well, actually, it didn't even reduce any of his stress. I thought that might have reduced a bit of his stress, but no, apparently. Um, mm, mm, I might actually guard ally. I don't want him to get hit because I don't want him to get more stressed out. But uh, we'll, we'll go with the Retribution. Oh, what a crit. Good stuff. There we go. That's what I like, wanted to see. A little bit of stress release. I actually um, might use an early camp. I mean, we'll see what happens in this fight. But we do have two camps to use. So I actually, And it's not a boss fight where I sort of want to use one before we fight a boss. So I might actually do an early camp just to lower his stress. So we'll do it after this room. After this next fight. Hopefully it's nothing too untoward. But I doubt it's going to be. Ooh, okay, that's not fun. That's not fun indeed. How are we doing on the light? Uh, yeah, let's just raise that a bit. Um, <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what way I want to go about this. All right, let's try and fuck you up first because we got a chance to kill you in, uh, well, probably not actually in two hits, but uh, let's try it again. Six, that was pretty pathetic, but hey ho. Here we go. And the stress, so he's gonna he's there he goes. Paranoid, alright, well it's a shame, but it was my own fault. Uh, I should I should have known to have them to have left that alone really and everything would have been fine. Alright, so we've got at least a, a retribution going on here with old Grizzly Adam man. Butcher cut, that'll be the end of you. Bye bye. He resisted the bleed, which is nice. Uh, right now we need to get some markings down here quickly on the hulking Swinator. Great name, Swinator. Oh, here we go. Bam, at least he hit him back. That actually did quite a bit of damage. We need to get a bit of a healing over here. Stop raising everyone's stress, you arsehole, with your paranoia. Alright, we must do this. 15, that was a good heal as well. At least it's not affecting his ability to do stuff. Um, how do we want to play this? Flashing dagger, I might as well hit both of them. She didn't do massive damage. Uh, right, okay. This need a big hit here. 31. That was almost a max she could have done without a crit. So good stuff. Uh, we shall do that again. There we go. A bit more retribution. He could do with a bit of a heal as well. To Truth be told. Drums of debilitation. That's just a bit mean. And it lowered his dodge. Alright, here we go. Pig spear. Ooh, there was a crit in there as well. But he hit him back quite nicely. At least there was that. Let's. Uh, how much have you got left? Nine. Alright, let's get another healing. There we go. Number 16 as well. Good healing. Well done. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, we'll just finish you off. Finish him. Alright, okay. Now, piggy drummer boy. Pig drums. Take that, pig drums. In your face. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We'll take the gold. And we'll have to just throw... Oh, well, no, actually, we won't throw it away. We'll get rid of some of these crests. Uh, there we go. We'll take some holy water. And might as well take the key. Why not? Uh, all right. Use the camp. Camp up. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. All right. You need to lower the stress. Reduce the stress by 25. Uh, I can take that. And everyone else's goes up by 5. It is the way it is. We'll do that. Wonderful. Uh, Okay, this is kind of an interesting one. So, uh, it will reduce her stress by 25. And at 75%, it reduces companion stress by 20. And a 25% chance. So, basically, a one, in, a 1 in 4 chance it increases. So, hopefully, we get the decrease. But we got the... In oh, no. Only he got the increase. Everyone else got a decrease. It's a bit annoying the way that worked. But, hey-ho. Uh, what are we down to? 6. 
Uh, okay. Basically, the rest is going on reducing your stress. Because we don't want you to have a heart attack now, do we? There we go. All right, superb. Let's get out of here. Okay, cool. So, a little bit annoying that he did get paranoid, but it was kind of my own fault for touching what I shouldn't have touched. Uh, okay, so we need to go up. Hopefully, we'll get a scout out again when we go up just to see what's in these two rooms. And if we can see that there's nothing in here, then we continue this way, basically. Let's head up, head up. Uh, some books. This could give us a scout out. It didn't, though. It just uh, raised my stress. But they can give you a scout out, I'm pretty sure, the books. That's why I wanted to have a look. But I probably would have got a scout out anyway, to be honest, because I've been getting them quite often. I've obviously got some scouting abilities. Ooh, all right. Whip, whip face. Don't want whip face doing anything. I'm almost tempted to try and stun whip face. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I've, no, I'm not actually. I'm just going to beat him up. Take that. Take that indeed. Uh, right, now what we're going to do, we're not going to mark him. We're actually going to put a curse on him because hopefully he'll miss. Because obviously Corsume's already attacked. If Corsume had not attacked already, I might have done it the other way around. But since he did, there we go. We'll hit him a bit more and we'll go reposit. So even if he does actually connect with with, with his massive weapons, he will uh, take some beats from it. Uh, do we want to play this? Let's uh, do one, do that. There we go. So well, nice that we got a lot of hits in first. Boom. All right. See you later. Man at arms is awesome. That's it. Raise my stress there. Missed. Ah, <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, don't do that. Why you single out someone? Why didn't you at least do the whole people and miss and then he could have whipped you back? How bad is that weapon? Three. All right. Okay. We might actually be able to stop that. We might actually be able to finish him off before... Before he actually gets to go again. I don't think we will, though. Mm. Maybe it'd be better just to heal then instead. Yeah, let's get a heal on. Three. That's pretty pathetic. And you bled him. You arsehole. All right. Can you kill... You, you can't... Well, you can, but we need to be fairly lucky with it. Can I pickaxe? I can pickaxe. That's got a better chance of killing. Throne dagger. Same chance of killing. So let's try to pickaxe to the face on this chump. Six, you did the minimum damage, you bitch. All right, so he's taking a bit of that. I am going to heal that, though. So we'll remove that. Uh, just trying to think. All right, let's just hit him a bit more. Yep, okay. And are we going to get another quick go? Of course, I mate. No, all right. Well, he's dead now. There we go. Told you he's dead now. I'm going to take another damage. All right, we'll cure that as well. And we'll finish you off. Ooh, big crit. Well done. Good stuff. And oh, we got loads of stuff here as well. All right. Well, we'll actually we'll yeah we'll just take it for the time being. Then when we get into a fight, we'll burn it. Uh oh. How do I want to? Hmm. All right. There is a key there, which is kind of a waste not to take this stuff. I don't think I need another anti venom. Seems a little bit overkill, so we'll take that. Uh, I would like. Hmm, let's throw away the holy water as well, since we didn't buy it ourselves, and we'll take the cash. All right. Cool. Use the key. Probably be heirlooms, but whatever. Let's see. Oh, no. It was cash as well. That's kind of nice. And a torch. So that's pretty good indeed. And let's get a... Yes, we've got a scout. Please don't let there be a fight over there. There isn't. Okay, cool. So this way it is. And this is the way to another fight. All right. What have we got in here? Anything interesting? Uh, another shovel. That's a shame that that's not the other way around because I think we're... Yeah, we can't. Oh, well, we can put another shovel there, and because we got so little gold, we can actually stack it there. And thankfully, we got an emerald, which means we can stack there. And now we're going to use up that shovel that we just got. Such are can I use that specific one? Even the no, they didn't let me use that actual specific one. Oh crap! Did I not actually? Oh balls up! Ugh, stupid me, because I was concentrating too much on trying to move these around that I didn't actually use it anyway and stress myself out even more. This is a, a run of what not to do at the moment. <laughs> Uh, okay, this isn't a particularly nice fight either. Right. Hmm. I would kind of like to kill you at the back there because I don't really want any more stress being raised. So let's try that with you. Eight. Not a great hit, but all right, whatever. And can't quite hit him because this fucker's a double person. All right, well, we'll uh, hit you. Thirteens. All right. Not bad. Vavasaur. Go on, raise him. 
Oh, all right. You just take matters into your own hands. What did you do? Mark him. Yeah, all right. Okay. And re and lowered people's stress. Good stuff. Vomit. You. Ah. You little cripple pig. Ah, there you go. But then you raise everyone's stress because you're an asswipe like that. All right. Well, retribution it is. Come on. Fight the old man. Fight. Hey, there we go. Bam. He's going to need a bit of a healing though. Alright, calm down man. Stop talking. Can't we gag him or something like that? Bam. Old man doing great and resisting poison. Very nice. Uh, Alright, old man needs healing. 15. There we go. That's better. Don't bleed him this time. Good. Well done. Uh, you finish him off. Goodbye. Don't want you and your stress raising antics. And there you're going to go. You're going to tap my man. And you missed and you're dead. Woo. Uh, Alright, we'll stack up a little bit more gold and uh, that'll be it. Alright, cool. So we head down. There isn't a fight in the next room. We'll leave these books alone. Because we're basically on a one-way street after this, so it doesn't really matter about the scout outs. There we go, we'll do that. And it did actually use that shovel, so... Unnecessary stress that I gained my people last time as well. Which is a shame, but there you go. What can you do? If we only get one person go berserk, I'll live with that. Uh, it's already been looted, has it? Alright, never mind. Invisible traps. Love them. Always fun. And on to the next room. Anyone in here? No. And no scout out either. Okay, interesting. We'll head on. Leave those books alone. Careful now. I am always careful. Let's eat some food. That's, I think that's the first time we've eaten. I suppose we haven't camped again, have we? Stop it! All right, we're going to camp in here anyway. Or will we camp in here? Actually, I'm going to camp after the last fight. Because that way I'll lower any stress. Which means I won't have to lower the stress in the um, in the town for him. Or any stress that I can lower here won't need to be lowered in town. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. There we go. We'll beast all that up. Leave that alone. There is a trap there. Not an invisible one. Why don't you have a go? There we go. Well done, Corsume. Mixing it up between the two of them. And finally, who is behind this door? Alright, Swinator and two people who are quite annoying for stress reasons. Well, I think I'm going to leave the Swinator alone, funnily enough, for the time being. And I'm going to uh, try and beat up the, the these pricks. So we'll go with that. 16, not a bad hit. Actually, a pretty good hit, to be fair. Um, we don't really need to heal... Do I want to throw a vulnerability hex or a curse? I think a curse would probably be better. Do that to you. Actually, I probably would have been better off cursing the guy at the back. That probably would have been the better move. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, that certainly would have been the better move, but hey ho, I have not been thinking correctly. You bastard. Raising my stress again. And um, do that that way. There we go, and we've been marked. Now, come on, what are you going to do, you little multiple person attack? Actually, oh, you're just going to straight up attack him. Ah, and you missed. Oh, what did he do to him? I don't think he did any damage. He, I don't even know what happened there, to be honest. But you're dead. Raised the stress a bit, but we killed him, which is nice. Now we can concentrate on full-blown fighting the Swinator. The Swinator. Oh, well done, course, mate. You finally got a crit in. There's been very lack of crits this, uh, this, this go-through, but I'm going to complain too much about it. Take that. Uh, you know what, you're low enough in health that I'm not going to bother putting the hex, I'm just going to try and uh, curse you. Or the mark rather, I'm going to put the hex on you so you're less likely to hit us. There we go, and you did a crit which was quite nice as well. And you get a bit of retribution. Oh, killed, that's perfect as well, it's exactly 25 is what we needed, so good times on that. Wonderful. As victories mount, yeah, whatever, we can take all that. I'm not going to bother opening the chest just because it could be trapped and it could raise some more stress. But we will get a quick fire at a camp here. And yeah, might as well eat the food. Why not? Now we're going to try what we did last time. So you lower... Actually, we'll do it this way around. So you do this. Hopefully it will reduce stress to other people as well at this time. I only raised it to him, but that's fine. Now you do this. What are you doing? You just didn't do it. You just refused to do it. Alright, that's that's nice of you. So we won't bother using any of your stuff anymore. But we will get our companions to try and heal you a bit more. Did that even do anything? No, he just he just didn't want it. He just said no. 
I'm all right. I don't need my stress rolling. There we go. Well, we got it down to four bars, I suppose. That's not too bad. And we'll rest. Actually, could I just left? I can leave. Yeah, okay. We'll do that instead. <laughs> just in case we get ambushed. What did we get here? Tenacity ring. Mm. All right, I suppose. Not that great. Well, actually, it's not great at all. I mean, just literally if I get down to death blow, which I'd rather have other stuff. There we go. Did everyone go up? Not quite. These two are still just short. But anyway, blew it. What did you get? <laughs> okay, Satanophobia. I haven't seen that one before. But we will remove that from you. Corsi, mate. Clotter. That's kind of a nice thing to get. Bleed resist. Especially considering you quite often are paired with Vavasaur. So, well, well, maybe not Vavasaur himself, but an occultist. And obviously the occultist, when he heals you, has a chance to bleed you. So that is quite handy. Carter. Calm. Well, I don't like that. That seems a bit rubbish. I haven't seen that one before either. But anyway, and Vavasaur didn't get anything because he's paranoid fuck. All right. Let's head back to town. Before I do anything else, let's just check over here. So there we go. We've ranked that up quite a bit, actually. In fact, maybe if I do a long... I don't want to do a lot. I don't want to do a champion one because I don't want to use my best people because I want them ready for when uh, we get to fight the flesh do you know what I mean I don't want to do like the, the champion long one which I think might actually push it over the edge and then not have them ready to fight so I'd have to do another episode you know of this kind of just training stuff so we'll probably go back to a medium one or possibly even do like a long one of these to get some of our real low level guys up I don't know we'll see but in the meantime Vavasaur needs a little bit of TLC actually he doesn't need it there though does he he needs it in a I don't know can he go to a bar I can't remember is he but no he's not so there we go so you go and chillax a little bit. Uh, blew it. You need to go to the sanatorium, though, because we need to remove some of this bollocks from you. Which one was it? Satanophobia, right? Yeah, that was it. And did Kartet need something removing? Calm, yeah. I mean, it's not the not the end of the... I mean, it's annoying, but I'd rather, yeah, there's worse things she could have had, but I'll still get rid of it anyway. All right, whoop de doo what they do indeed uh okay so yeah basically on the next one i don't know yeah I'll, I'll decide it'll be either that one or that or that one one of those two that we go on and hopefully that'll push us to because that gave us like 40 points that one so i think we we're on like 20 20 percent done before i don't know if it's because it was long or whether it was because it was a veteran do you see what i mean i think it was because it was a veteran i don't think the length of the dungeon really mattered too much so probably we'll be leaning towards the veteran dungeon because that should push us to level seven which will then unlock the um full flesh or i don't know what he's called i do know what he's called i just can't think of it off the top of my head now but anyway so that's the end of this episode hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button show your support and all that jazz and we shall see you next time take care Bye bye